Welcome to our channel today. We are diving into how to host intelligent land graph agents using Amazon Bedrock's Agent Core Runtime, a powerful combo for scalable, secure, and efficient AI deployments. Let's explore how to deploy conversational AI agents using land graph orchestrated through Bedrock's Agent Core Runtime. So here's what we are going to cover today. A quick intro to Agent Core Runtime, how Langra fits into the picture using Amazon Bedrock foundational models, and finally, a step-by-step -step deployment walkthrough. So Agent Core Runtime is a managed environment by Amazon Bedrock that simplifies the deployment of AI agents it handles the heavy lifting, scalability, security, and AWS integration. So you can fo focus only on building smart logic. So LangGraph is a powerful orchestration library built on LangChain. It lets you define agent workflows as graphs with nodes representing states and edges representing transitions. This makes it ideal for the for managing complex stateful conversations. So Amazon Bedrock gives you access to top tier foundational models like Entropic Cloud Sonnet 3, perfect for conversational tasks. You can even fine tune these models with your own data, all while benefiting from built-in responsible AI safeguards. So in, in our previous tutorial, we have deployed simple, uh, you know, simple agent that houses uh, get weather and get time. Okay. Uh, we are taking this example to a more advanced layer, but of course you can access the previous uh, example that I just talked about which is a non land graph example. It's a simple example by scanning this QR code. In this particular example, we are going to deploy a simple land graph agent that uses two tools, get weather and get time. This simple lay, this example will lay the groundwork for more advanced agents, okay? Including those built with frameworks like strands. So this is the deployment walkthrough like Here's how we are going to deploy our agent. We are uh, preparing, going to prepare and test our land graph agent locally. We are going to configure agent core runtime in AWS, package our code and dependencies, deploy the Bedrock agent core SDK or Boto3. So we are going to use the agent core SDK and Boto3 to deploy our agent. The fifth step says about testing and monitoring our agent in action. So these are some of the next steps and resources that I'll put in the uh, description of this video. Okay, so these are some of the key features that we are gonna highlight, uh, like hosting agents on Amazon Bedrock, Agent Core Runtime, Amazon Bedrock Model, Seamless Integration, and LangGraph powerful agent orchestration. All right, so let's start with the hands-on demo for, for this particular topic and uh, you can follow me along. All right, so this is the architecture that we are gonna build, okay. Uh, so using the agent core runtime, and we have two tools over here, like get weather and get calculator. Okay. This was a simple example that I just talked about. For which the QR code has been already shared. So in this particular tutorial, we are going to use LangGraph. Okay. So as you can see, local environment, LangGraph agent. There will be an agent in the task which will interact to tools like get weather and calculator. Okay. Uh, and of course the agent will be responsible of invoking 
LLM in processing the outputs and of course returning it back to the user. So uh, I'll explain you this code in detail. Starting with the high level overview. This provides a CLI based interface to invoke an AI agent. Okay. So uh, we are we are going to build an, a line graph agent that uses Claude from Bedrock. It can it, it uses tools like calculator and weather. It routes messages intelligently to tools or the LLM. Okay. And parses the CLI arguments, accepts JSON payload with a prompt and returns the response. So if you look at the tools section first, okay. So a safe this is kind of a safe math evaluator, okay, that uses eval with restricted dictionary of allowed functions and constants, support things like square root. Square, square root 16, sin, uh, uh, sin pi, 2 plus 3 into 4 and all those stuff, okay. Uh, let's look at, so just at a high level, you can consider this as a calculate tool, which calculates the result of a mathematical expression, okay. And of course, we have handled uh, all the exceptions over here. Looking at the weather tool, so this is a dummy implementation of a tool which will just return uh, that the weather is sunny, okay? Right, so next comes the section of uh, agent creation. Okay, so we have used, if you look at the imports, we have been using this import, uh, import called from Langchain underscore AWS. Langchain underscore AWS import chat bedrock. One second, let me just find that out. All right, the import is over here in the create agent method. So basically, I wanted to highlight that this import imports the bedrock client, okay, cloud in this particular case from Langchain AWS integration. So the next section over here, which is uh, which which is going to initialize the cloud sonnet three uh, four. Okay, in this case we are using four with a low temperature of zero point one for the deterministic output. Okay, so I'm talking about this particular section. Next, <clears throat> here we are binding the tools to the LLM. Okay, so cloud is bound with the calculator and weather tools. Okay, so you can see calculator and weather tools and the tools are defined over here. We just saw and we are uh, we are kind of uh, uh, wrapping it up as a tool over here. Okay. So this is the place where we are binding the tools to the LLM coming to this particular section. Where uh, a custom node function for the length graph that is going to prepend a system prompt. Okay. A, a system prompt, if, it, if not already present, it invokes Claude with messages and returns Claude reply. Okay. So this is all uh, it does. Over here, if we look at here, uh, it starts the length graph state machine. Okay. And the the edges edges are over here. If you see, edges are uh, kind of conditionally based on if a tool is needed. Okay, so the tool is cruel condition. You can see it's a conditional edges. Okay, so as you know, right, we have two tools. One is for weather and one is for calculator. So it's conditional based on based on prompt. It's gonna move move the a request to a particular edge. So the entry point it's set over here. The entry point is the chatbot. Okay. So this chatbot is the entry point. Okay. 
and then we are using this graph builder to compile dot compile which converts the defined graph into an executable link graph agent okay so this is the uh, final thing so now let's run this code okay and see what it returns okay so i'll simply run this particular thing and over here you can see we are asking what's the weather now so it says the weather the current weather is sunny it is beautiful day outside okay so as you can see it has uh it has done a conditional forwarding to uh, forwarding the request to a particular edge out of the two tools it has identified that yeah it's related to weather so let's let's invoke the weather uh, tool over here from the graph okay so now we are gonna ask what is is two two three plus four right and yeah let's try this now so now it should invoke the agent for calculator All right, so the result is out here. The result of this is 14. As you can see, it has also explained the breakdown. First, the expression is this, then multiplied by this, and the result is this. So, so this is how uh, it has came with this particular output. It has decided which edge to call on a particular graph on a conditional basis. So just to summarize a lang graph which is managing the stateful flow between chatbot and tools cloud via bedrock is the llm for natural language understanding and reasoning tools extend agent capabilities like calculator and weather and the cli input will enable external use with custom prompts okay yeah so time to wrap up guys uh if you found this useful and uh, so give us a like subscribe for more ai and cloud tutorials and drop your questions in the comment thanks for watching have a good day see you in the next video